tell you the truth, I'm not really an artsy person. I've never done an art class in my life. <laughs> This is the J turn for the Citizenship Project, and we're going to clean up uh, Florida's waterways through the intercoastal and picking up trash or making art through what we find that we label as cool trash. The day that we went out, the largest group, um, we picked up around 2,500 pounds of trash that morning just in a couple hours' time. Even the smallest pieces of trash, every piece uh, is important and you know, sometimes the students kind of question that and think, well, this is just a small little piece of styrofoam or plastic, yet it's those tiny pieces that the, the turtles, the sea turtles, the hatchlings first eat because that's caught in the sargasm and the seaweed that's floating in the oceans. And they're consuming that and very often they don't make it past, you know, the first few months of life. And then, you know, as being part of that food chain, we consume the fish that have consumed that plastic. So we are what we eat and what we throw away. I think students were really impacted by what they saw when we got back, especially once we got back into the mangroves, when they kind of put their fear aside of the spiders, the banana spiders that are there, um, and, and really got back into those mangrove roots and realized how much trash is just buried in the prop roots. And what really drove it home for some of the students was when Susan Elliott shared with us, she works at Gumbo Limbo, she shared that, okay, that's today, that's what you collected today. With each new tide, that comes back again. As a way of kind of demonstrating this impact, the students were gathering their art and really thinking about what that meant to them, what, what that represented, the found items on the beach, and how they could like visually display uh, this human impact that we're having. This is all like the professor's idea to make something cool out of someone else's sees as garbage. But when we first laid it out, it looked like nothing. We had all these tennis balls, so we started halving them, and we decided, well, we've been learning so much about turtles, let's make a turtle. So we started making turtle shell, and we thought that we'd also incorporate the jellyfish with the turtle. Um, since the plastic bags that float around in the ocean are mistaken as jellyfish, so the turtles eat them, and then they get sick, and then they die. If I could take away anything from this experience, I would say volunteering is important. It's not something that you should have to do because a scholarship requires you to have 75 or 100 hours. It's something you should do because you care about it, not because you want to please other people. I've seen some of the students since the January term, they've gone back to the beach and they can't go back to the beach without picking up trash now. That's what they shared with me. But they, they feel compelled when they see that, those pieces on the beach, they have to go and pick it up. They've asked friends. Um, so it's kind of interesting what started with a class of, oh, we're gonna go out to the beach and have some fun and get out in the sunshine and, you know, out of the four walls um, of the classroom, out to the beach atmosphere, but it became something so much more.